Little Red Riding Hood, everybody. Yay! Cheryl Tan. I play Little Red Riding Hood, also known as Little Red. My name is Nelson Clement, and I play the wolf and the father in Red Riding Hood. A heavily confused individual. I play Grandma. I have crazy hair. It's the bane of my life right now. Uh, my name is Dwayne Tan, and I play William the Woodcutter. I'm Susie. Mom. We wanted to achieve fun-loving, up uplifting, upbeat family show that you go out humming the tunes that children would really enjoy. We think it's quite fast-paced and original. You're only a child. I might be only a child, but I'm really clever. I can recite every element on the periodic table. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium. Shake my hand. Why would you want to do a thing like that? I'm, I'm looking for my daughter, Little Red. I can't find her anywhere. Something must be wrong. Are you coming down with a fever? But possibly, Grandma. Although it might just be that I'm ever so hungry. Now, what are we looking up again? How to roast a chicken? No, wolves. <gasps> where? Where? In your book. Oh, my book. Where did you find that? Grandma? Are you in there? I think that Little Red is, um, she's a young girl, but she's very self-assured. Uh, she, she really Bye. believes that she can take on anything. She's got a very like, awesome can-do attitude and she takes on challenges and she just goes for them. And that's great. Every day I wake up in the morning Say hello to my mom and my dad When I look at another day dawning How can anyone ever be sad? The script is very witty, the songs are very catchy. The, the tunes just stick in your head all day. Most in my head is bake me a cake, just like everybody else. At the end, when we teach the kids how to bake a cake, and then they all stand up and do the actions with us. Okay, are you ready? I suppose better is my favorite song. <laughs> it's my song. What's your favorite song in the in this other better session? Better. It's the defying gravity of the piece, you know, it's really, it's really like cathartic and it has a nice big note in the end. And there are wooden birds, who can love that? Wooden birds! <laughs> right, who doesn't love wooden birds? to anybody who is interested in good storytelling <laughs> um, and it's, it's great because it is suitable for kids who are really young because we have a lot of like physical comedy and a lot of just really really cute gags and stuff and we also, it's also actually suitable for um, kids who are a little bit older, 11 and 12 because the text is very smart. We really wanted to write something that was suitable for all ages so that even if you were going to take children to it, you as the parents would also get something out of it as well. Everyone who believes in dreams and in fairy tales.
Old people can't. Right, next one. Who is this?